both FMGCs exchange data through a cross-talk bus and are synchronized. When both FMGCs cross-talk, they are in dual mode of operation. The FMGC which drives the synchronization is called master. The master FMGC is automatically determined by the engagement status of the autopilot flight director. If autopilot 1 is on, FMGC 1 is master. If autopilot 2 is on, FMGC 2 is master. If autopilot 1 plus 2 and or flight director 1 plus 2 are on, FMGC 1 is master. Here, FMGC 1 is the master as autopilot 1 is on. The autothrust is driven by the master FMGC. Note, when flight director 1 plus 2 are on, each FMGC drives its flight director and FMA on its on-side PFD. If the crosstalk is lost between both FMGCs, each FMGC operates independently. This mode of operation is called independent mode. The crew is advised by a message on the scratch pad, independent operation. Notice the independent amber light on each MCDU, which indicates that the on-side FM has detected an independent mode of operation. In independent mode, each FMGC drives its own FG, Autopilot Flight Director, its own EFIS, PFD, ND, and its own MCDU. The crew must make the same entries on each MCDU in order to have the same guidance orders for both Autopilot FDs and the same information displayed on EFIS and on MCDU. When the crosstalk is recovered, the FMGCs revert automatically to dual mode. Let us review the failure of one FMGC. FMGC1, for example. Let's assume we are in flight and no previous faults have occurred. If Autopilot 1 and Auto Trust were engaged, Auto Flight, AP Off and Auto Thrust Off are triggered on ECAM. AP 1 and Auto Thrust go off. Note, you can re engage the AP on the healthy side, in our case, AP 2. If Auto Thrust has disengaged, it can be re engaged at the same time. Notice the amber FM1 light on the MCDU indicates that the on-side FM has failed. MCDU1 is now a copy of the other MCDU with the scratch pad message OPP FMGC in process. This mode of operation is called single mode. Both FMAs display to Flight Director 2 indicating that flight director bars on both PFDs are driven by FMGC2. Additionally, only FMGC2 position is computed and FMGC2 tunes the offside nav aids. As a consequence of single mode, ND1 displays set offside range mode and map not available messages as long as ND1 range and mode are not set identically to those of ND2. Here, the captain's ND has to be set to the same range as the first officer's ND in order to be able to display navigation map. If you cannot insert any data into the scratch pad nor change any MCDU page, the MCDU is locked. Such a failure is not automatically detected. To recover the faulty MCDU, simply pull the related circuit breaker, then, after 10 seconds, push it back. The same procedure would apply 
in case of a MCDU failure indicated by the AMBR enunciator. Fail? On the MCDU itself, you can try to recover the faulty MCDU by simply pulling the related circuit breaker, then, after 10 seconds, by pushing it back. In case of failure of both FMGCs, a navigation mode is still available to the crew using the MCDUs and the IRS plus GPS. It is called the Navigation Backup, or Nav Backup. This Nav Backup is possible thanks to the continuous downloading of the flight plan from the FMGCs to their related MCDUs. The selection of the Nav Backup prompt on the MCDU menu pages activates the mode. When activated, the NAV backup provides aircraft position, flight plan display on ND, and automatic waypoint sequencing, bearing from aircraft present position to two waypoint and related distance, true track, time estimate and distance between waypoints, total time and distance to destination. Limited direct to function APFD selected modes. Notes For navigation purposes, it is recommended to use track FPA. At least one FG must be available to engage AP and auto thrust. On each MCDU, time estimates are computed using the current ground speed from the on site IRS. But the nav backup is a limited navigation mode, and the following features are not available anymore. Navigation database. Performance database. Most of predictions. Novades auto-tuning. Automatic landing elevation selection. Managed modes of APFD, crosstalk between MCDUs. As the FMs are lost, the auto-tuning of the navades is also lost. This is why the navades must be manually tuned using the RMPs. As the databases are lost, the landing elevation has to be manually adjusted, and the optional data display push buttons of the FS control panels are now inoperative. Moreover, as we have seen previously, the crosstalk is also lost. This means that each and every flight plan modifications have to be done on both MCDUs. When activated, the NAV backup can be deactivated by selecting the Deselect NAV backup prompt on the MCDUs, or automatically, if an FM source change occurs, or by selecting an FM subsystem on the MCDU menu page. Let's have a closer look at the available MCDU pages. We will start with the backup flight plan. This page is accessed by pushing the flight plan key once the nav backup is activated. There, we can find, for each waypoint of the flight plan and displayed on lines 1 to 5, the waypoint site and its coordinates, the true track and the distance between two consecutive waypoint the time to go, the time between the aircraft and the given waypoint. Note, the information given for the two-way point is between the aircraft and the two-way point, not between the from and two-way points. Moreover, the backup flight plan page shows the bearing between the aircraft and the two-way point. On line 6, we have data related to the destination airport the airport side and its coordinates, the distance to destination, the direct distance from the aircraft to the two-way point plus the along flight plan distances down to the destination airport, the time to go, distance to destination divided by ground speed. There are no lateral or vertical revision pages on NAV backup. Each revision is made on backup flight plan itself. Remember that the NAV database is lost. This means that no place bearing fixes, PB waypoints, nor place bearing distance fixes, PBD waypoints, 
can be inserted in the flight plan. In fact, a waypoint can only be inserted by writing its coordinates. The ident of the waypoint is then automatically generated using the above mentioned coordinates. The backup flight plan for direct to functions is called by pushing the DIR key while nav backup is active and the aircraft position is valid. It allows the selection or the insertion of the desired waypoint. The information given for each waypoint is the same as the one found on backup flight plan. The backup progress page is accessed by pushing the PROG key once the NAV backup is activated. This page displays on line 1, the ident of the last sequence waypoint and the altitude at which the sequencing was done. On line 2, the bearing, distance and time to go to a waypoint entered by the crew. On line 3, the navigation mean used by the MCDU. GPS nav, default if a GPS is installed. IRS only nav, GPS installed, but data not available, nothing if a GPS is not installed. On line 4, the current aircraft position based on the navigation mean and use and the ground speed from the selected IRS. On line 5, the desired track from the backup flight plan active leg and the actual track from the selected IRS on line 6. The access to the on-site backup IRS page and to the backup GPS page. The GPS prompt does not show if a GPS is not installed. Here is an example of a backup IRS. This page displays from line 1 to 5. The current aircraft position, true track, ground speed, true heading, magnetic heading, wind true direction and velocity, GPIRS accuracy and GPIRS current position. Notice that the GPIRS fields will be dashed if the GPS information is not available and blanked if a GPS is not fitted. Line 6 allows to go back to backup progress or to toggle between the on-site backup IRS and backup IRS 3. MCDU 1 gives access to backup IRS 1 and backup IRS 3, whereas MCDU 2 gives access to backup IRS 2 and backup IRS 3. Here is an example of a backup GPS. This page displays from line 1 to 3. The current GPS position. True track. UTC. Ground speed. Figure of merit. Altitude. Mode of operation and number of currently tracked satellites. Line 5 allows the deselection of the GPS for the nav backup, but not for the regular FM navigation. Line 6 allows to go back to backup progress. Two new scratch bad messages can appear on the MCDUs while using the nav backup mode. IRS only navigation, it indicates that the GPS is lost, not displayed in case of a manual deselection of the GPS. GPS nav avail, it indicates that the GPS is recovered, not displayed in case of a manual selection of the GPS.